case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in the 1846 vermont supreme court case hodgden v hubbard a question of rightful ownership and the limits of force used in recovering one's property arose from a stove dispute the stove in question was unlawfully possessed by the plaintiff who acquired it through deceptive means thereby assailing the rights of the true owner the defendant the tale unraveled into a physical standoff when the plaintiff fiercely resisted the defendant's attempt to regain the property even resorting to brandishing a knife consequently the penultimate consideration before the court was the assessment of the defendant's response tactfully they detained the plaintiff without employing excessive force an action the court would later uphold as justified critical in the court's decision was the flawed judgment initially given by the county court diverting drastically from the facts presented the county court erroneously insinuated that the defendant was liable despite using necessary force to reclaim their property from the plaintiff's illicit possession the supposition was challenged and ultimately dismissed by the supreme court they overturned the county court's judgment declaring that it contradicted the notion of rightful ownership and the principle that the use of force is justified in the recovery of one's property only insofar as it doesn't breach the peace the court emphasized in its ruling that fraudulent owners shouldn't expect shelter under the cover of public interest protection further the supreme court concluded that the defendants were wrongfully deprived of instructions they were entitled to signifying a misstep by the county court that necessitated the intervention of the supreme court case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for visit lse.law elevate your mind leave the stress of class